So let's start with the breaking news this evening. As expected, England's two greatest wicket-takers, Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad, have been left out for the three-match test series against the West Indies next month. Both played in only three test matches in the 4-0 Ashes drubbing. Anderson took eight wickets in the series, Broad 13. Well, the interim managing director for England's men's cricket, Sir Andrew Strauss, has said this. In respect of James Anderson and Stuart Broad, I want to emphasise this does not mean the end for them as England players. We feel that it is important to look at some exciting new bowling potential and give some added responsibility to other players who have featured previously. No one doubts the quality and experience that James and Stuart bring to the England setup. It will be up to the new managing director and permanent head coach to decide on whether they'll be involved this summer and beyond. So that's what Sir Andrew Strauss has said. But are we about to enter a new era for England's seam bowling? Well, between them, Anderson and Broad have taken 1,177 wickets. Anderson has 31 five-wicket hauls, Broad 19. Broad has the best figures of the pair. That's eight for 15 in the Ashes back in 2015. Well, both top England's all-time leading wicket-taker list. They're way out in front of Sir Ian Botham, Bob Willis and Fred Truman. Right, let's get some more on this. Let's speak to our reporter, James Cole, who joins us now. James, uh, Sir Andrew Strauss says it isn't the end, but can we read more into this than what he said? Yeah, this is a huge shock, isn't it, Mike? We expected one of the two to be left out as England looked to the younger options. But for them both to be left out, yes, Andrew Strauss says this isn't the end of the careers, but you do sense that maybe this is the beginning of the end. England looking to the future a bit more, certainly, as, as Strauss says there, for, for foreign tours. If you're uh, James Anderson or Stuart Broad, you're probably thinking this could be the beginning of the end. My time could be limited now, they are still, though, very, very influential in England's bowling attack. I was just looking at the stats at the Ashes. Uh, Stuart Broad uh, took uh, 13 wickets in Australia. That was second only to Mark Wood in terms of England's wicket-taking, while Anderson had the best bowling average uh, down under from the three tests he played. So, they, yes, they are 39 years old in, in Anderson's case, 35-year-old years old in Stuart Broad's case, but they are still producing for England. And when you look at England's bowling lineup, they are still outstanding performers. Uh, and don't forget that both were left out for uh, tests uh, down under as well. And that it's fair to say that at times neither wanted to be left out. So, yeah, it's not the end, clearly, as Andrew Strauss has made clear. But I think it's fair to say it's the beginning of the end. And maybe uh, Anderson and Broad might be a little bit worried by this news.